That is good to know. And life insurance is one of those things that a lot of people don't think about when right. they're single or when they're married. Right. So these are definitely the conversations you should be having before you walk down the aisle. Absolutely. And there's a lot of advantages to life insurance just beyond that, that benefit if, God forbid, somebody passes away. Absolutely. So there's critical illness. If there's a heart attack, cancer, stroke, how do you take care of your spouse? Right. You know, those are de uh, the types of benefits that are provided in a life insurance contract. So life insurance is a big one. That joint savings is, is really important. Mm -hmm. And just communication up front. I think knowing where you're at, knowing what debts you may have, you know, student loans, are a big part of that. Absolutely. Um, communicate up front and then you can make a joint plan and then hopefully again uh, prevent the friction that is leading to, you know, obviously marriage is not always working out. This is true. And then we um, had a percentage here. You said 59% of proposals, according to the marriage proposal survey, said they don't work out. And a lot of times 50% it still says people end in divorce. Right, right. That's very much a, a potential these day, mm -hmm. this day and age. So if, if one out of two marriages isn't, isn't necessarily making it all the way, <laughs> yeah. um, try to do th some things to prevent that up front. A lot mm -hmm. of times they say that it's due to financial friction. So yep. communication, be honest up front, talk about your plan. You might not even have the same plan, but at least you're talking, talking about, about it. it. And if you create that joint effort to save for the future, right. whether it's retirement or getting the vacation, you're probably going to be in a lot better shape. Eric, you're fantastic. Always great advice. So take his tips before you walk down the aisle and get yourself financially secure. Don't go anywhere when we come back. Catherine has Daphne here, your smart shopper, and she's going to give us some tips for Cyber Monday.